Strange. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. You seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Did I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony. But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world, and I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. Ah! Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over, remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Tony! Friday, your airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I... I know! Just come back in one piece!
all systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot run your past, Stark. We'll see about that. <laughs> Can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> a secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Suppression system online. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. More from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Bolton! news coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Our system, aren't they? Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision course with Los Angeles. City Council would be pleased to know that. has been damaged. Is that fixable? We'll have to wing it. Some 
Damage taken, sir. Armor systems critical. All threats neutralized. But I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Usually, I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan, and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home, and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. friend.